Hey everyone, welcome back to Trailbreaker. A few months ago, I converted this old bike from a three by eight drivetrain to single speed. And at the time, uh, I wasn't sure if the project was gonna even be rideable, so I didn't wanna spend a lot of money on parts. So in the meantime, I just used the original derailleur as a chain tensioner. But now, it's time to make it legit. This thing is a blast to ride, and I wanna clean it up. Let's make a chain tensioner. Here's a look at my derailleur tensioner. It works, but it's noisy and looks cluttered. So initially I wanted to do something like this, just with a single pulley that could pull up the slack. And as you can see, even with the chain completely uh, shortened as much as it'll go, uh, there's no room between the chain and the chain stay. And I didn't want to do something where you're pushing down on the chain because I just wanted it to be super clean and everything tucked up tight. So what I came up with was two pulleys mounted on a bar back off of the derailleur hanger and I could create tension by how far apart I move the pulleys from each other. And here's what the prototype looks like. So here's the prototype and you can see uh, the two pulleys uh, it's mounted on the back side of the derailleur hanger for right now. Um, I wasn't sure how to do this, that's why it's the prototype, but you'll see right here it's mounted on the back side and I have an M10 uh, 50 bolt that just kind of threads through and there's a nut on the back side. Um, it works, but there's some clearance issues with the hub right here. And I could trim that, but I thought it would be better to mount this on the outside, and that way I could mount the bolt from the back, just have uh, a nut on the outside that makes removing this on the trail easier because in order to take the wheel off, I'd have to at least loosen this to be able to get the tension off of the chain. So I'm gonna show you now how I'm gonna go about uh, building uh, the permanent version. After rummaging through my scrap bin, I found some 1 8 inch aluminum flat stock and cut a piece 1 inch by about 9 inches. I traced the shape of the prototype and the shape of the version I need to make to mount it on the outside of the hanger. Once mounted, it should be parallel to the chain and offset just a bit for the pulley. So now the fun part. The way these pulleys are gonna go on is one's gonna go underneath and one's gonna go on top. And I want this one to be as close to this as I can get it without making it bind. And I found that the distance between them, the closer they are, the more tension it puts on the chain and the farther apart, the less. So. First, we're gonna locate this one. So now we need to figure out where to put this one. We just move the chain on top of this pulley, put this pulley above it, and then move this up. And you'll see that the closer I pull them together, the tighter the chain gets, and the further apart, the looser. So I've got an oval chain ring, so I've moved it to the tallest position, and I'm gonna find a range that gives me adjustment. We'll try that. All right, so that's not bad. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and probably, I'm gonna extend this slot just a little further so I can get just a little more, a little more tension on it. So that seems to be working out pretty good. 
Like I said, I've got an oval chain ring, so if you've got, if you don't, if you have a round chain ring, you can tighten this thing up and it doesn't need to move. But with the oval, this needs to be able to move uh, up and down as it cycles through. And you can kind of see how it does that. And I'll clean up the edges, sand it, and put it back on. On the test ride, the chain dropped a few times off of the front pulley toward the wheel. So, I came up with a simple solution. By adding a piece of flat stock to the back of the pulleys, it completely eliminated the chance of the chain coming off. This was a fun and easy project, and it works great. If you have any questions about the process, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're like me and just refuse to act your age, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching.